So I've just done a whole series of videos and this one is um, a section of a video talking about supports and braces that I use. So just to show some of the things I have, first of all my walking sticks, there's two here. Um, these are from Switch Sticks which are probably the best quality I've found. And this one with the black handle is my current one that I'm using outdoors, that's my day to day current one. And this one is an old one that I don't use outdoors anymore but that's my um, second stick for indoors because uh, sometimes I need help getting out of bed, um, toilet, getting out of a chair and so on and two sticks make that a lot easier. So those are my walking sticks and that's how I kind of get around. I use a stick all the time, um, constantly. I can walk about two or three steps without one. This is my wrist brace or one of two wrist braces it's by um, this company here, um, Bauer Find, and it's a really good wrist brace. I had a conversation with someone not too long ago on Twitter about wrist braces and their various foibles, and this sort, um, well I'm going to show you me wearing them in a minute because I'm going to put a lot of these on so people can see how they kind of impact us and what we can wear. and. The really cool thing about this particular model, if I can actually find where the opening is, it's here, it's really well hidden, is that the stays within it, so the actual supports that hold it together, are quite often pieces of plastic. But in this particular model, it's sheet steel. So you've got this really hard steel, the holes are cut in it to keep the weight down, and it's really tough stuff, it's like surgical steel or something. And that inside, holding your wrist in place, it's shaped on the other end. The other end is curved to match the actual curvature of human wrist. So you can see here, you've got this kind of curvy bit here, and that fits around the bone, so it fits really, really well. So that's my wrists. Moving on to my shoulders... This thing is the Sully. It's not made by any of the companies I normally use. It's from the Saunders Group. To be honest, I hate this. It's a really bad brace. It's a soft brace. I can sleep in this, and that's its primary use. So I won't be trying this on at the moment. The reason I hate it is the interior is made of this rubbery stuff. And this rubbery stuff, I don't know whether this is for everyone or just um, my EDS skin, but this friction against this gives me blisters all over my arms when I wear it so I'm trying not to use these anymore and I'm going to try and find a better solution but basically you put this on um, this one I have two obviously one for each side and you put it on uh, like a plaster on if you do fencing as I used to and this goes around your chest and then there's all these complicated straps that pull it in different ways so you can either have it so the arm can't move upwards or can't move downwards all depending on which parts of the rotator cuff particularly need support on that day but I think it's a really bad design the lining causes huge irritation and they I mean they are deliberately tight but I think it's really hard to get on or off and I've actually injured myself putting this on so not one I wear anymore Moving down my body, my knees are one of the next areas. This is another Physio Room own brand. Um, I wouldn't say cheap, these are 50 quid each. Um, these are ones I own myself. They are pretty good knee braces in that the area around the patella has got relative flexibility. They look like they're made of similar stuff to the Sully shoulder brace, but they're not. This is a kind of net coating. The interior is really comfortable actually. The interior is um, just a sort of standard black fabric. Um, probably tells me on this label what it's actually made of. Um, maybe not. I wear a large size and these just fit. Um, getting them on can be a bit of a struggle because you've got to get them so that the patella is exactly in this hole. One that's there on, they have these two little doors that open up on either side and inside of here there are these little tabs that come out and these are what control uh, the extension and the flexion of the knee so I can set these because I obviously with EDS you get hyperextension of the knee I can set these here by pulling them out and moving them to tell it that 
it must not let my knee extend beyond a certain point. And actually I usually set these, the reason they're set where they are, is that it actually stops me straightening my leg fully. So I'm way off of hyperextension when I'm wearing these. I can't even straighten my legs and the flexion is sort of set on infinite. And there's those doors on both the sides and obviously they've both got to be set absolutely identically, otherwise it doesn't work. And once they're on, they have um, a Velcro piece that goes over like a cross uh, on the front and that Velcro's onto these soft bits on the side and that keeps it all in place and holds it on really tight and stops it sliding down the leg. These are really good. They have got really good metal. You can see here the construction is metal. So you've got that sort of powdered steel insert on either side and then this hard but flexible area around the patella. I like these a lot. The problem with them is that you can't wear them over jeans because they are... You can't wear them, sorry, under jeans because they're too bulky. You can't wear them over jeans because they're too tight. These are the kinds of things I sleep in or I will wear around the house with just compression tights underneath. They are not one that I would be wearing outdoors normally. The only thing I've ever found that I can wear over them is linen, big baggy linen trousers that I wear in the summer and get the piss taken out of me by colleagues who are wearing these ridiculously baggy linen, linen trousers. Guys, this is the reason why, to fit these things underneath. Um, simple as that, really. On my ankles, these are battered to hell because they are worn so much, but I love them. These are my bar find again, and these are really, really good. They're plastic with a metal interior, I think, and they basically cradle your foot so you if you if my foot was facing away from the camera so my heel was nearest to us this would go under my foot and then these kind of envelop all the way around and there's various clips and so on but hold it all in place and that stops my ankle from bending left or right which is where most of my dislocation issues come from i've still got pretty good mobility in the standard direction but it really holds it in place. Really good if you get cuboid bone um, dislocations or displacements. It really keeps the cuboid bone in place as well as most of the structure of the ankle. So I've got a pair of those. Uh, they're not cheap. I think they're probably about £100 each. Um, not entirely certain on that. I'm just going to see if I can get the price uh, on my phone while I'm wittering away because, um, well, if I'm being informative, I really need to do it properly, don't I? Uh, I can't remember which ones these are actually called. They have a whole series of different types of ankle brace, uh, different sort of strengths of ankle brace, um, simply because I guess they're um, different kinds of... Many braces, when you look at them, are designed for injuries. There really aren't any that are designed for um, everyday Ellis Danlos people. So quite a lot of what we have to do is work with a good physiotherapist, which is what I do. Uh, James is absolutely an invaluable part of my life, I have to say. I couldn't have a job or, or anything really without um, without his support, I guess. Um, he assessed me and worked out what kind of ankle supports and so on I needed and that was really what did everything for me. So I found them, these are called Malio Lock ankle braces and these retail from Physio Room at the moment for about £90 each, 9-0, zero. they're actually 88 99 today, it's the 6th of December 2015 if anyone's interested, so a pair of those, 200 quid. Uh, wrist brace by bar find, again probably 50 quid. Knee braces are 50 each. You can see why it's really hard to be able to afford this. This is why disabled people really need support in the type of like disabled living allowance and so on that cover these costs, the extra living costs you experience when you're trying to cope with a disability. Because guess what? The NHS doesn't fund any of this easily. It's a battle, and I mean a real battle, that a lot of us don't have the energy for to get funding for even one item. So access to work and everything else are really my lifesavers. And incidentally, uh, it was these that came through access to work. These were 
uh, to allow me to stand and lecture for long periods of time. So I was, before anyone kicks off, I was fully assessed. The Royal British Legion came in and assessed me. My physiotherapist had to write letters and produce evidence of what I needed. It was not straightforward to just get the money, but there is a myth that that is what happens. This beast that looks like a parachute harness is a thoracic lumbar sacral orthotic a TLSO. It is my worst case scenario item that I use on my worst days. It has been fitted by my physiotherapist uh, so all the settings are kind of right. These are about three, four hundred pounds each, so not for the faint hearted. But what this does is keeps my spine in order and with EDS my spine um, I'll show you this in a minute when I show the bracing. Um, the sort of part of my spine, to use layman's terms, uh, about three quarters of the way down in, in everyone else kind of curves inwards, like towards the front, slightly. Mine curves in a lot at that point, which pushes my stomach out and makes me look fatter than I am. That with visceroptosis as well, which is where your squishy organs slide downwards towards your pelvis that everyone with EDS again has got leads to all sorts of problems with how long food takes to get through the system and so on. That makes me look fatter than I am. Uh, that uh, curvature of the spine there, combined with the fact that my head sort of hangs and I have a kind of hunched back, this beast on my worst days kind of sorts that out. This keeps my spine straight and it does it by the back of this is... Um, really hard sheet plastic, I mean really hard sheet plastic here, it really has no give, and that's the back, and then on the front it has another sheet of rock hard sheet plastic, it has this metal bar that extends up the chest, and then it has this horrible piece that sits under the collarbone, and it has got cushioning on the back, but I've got to be honest, this is painful, this is a really horrible thing to wear. Just to add to the torture, it opens up and this is how you get into it and then once you've kind of closed it up you then need to pull through these wires and these wires once pulled through tighten it all up around you and pull your spine into the correct position so again really not something that I choose to wear this is something that is only ever used when I really need it um, if you're ever if you ever sort of think disabled people do it for fun or any of that rhetoric that comes from certain tabloid newspapers believe me no one would wear this thing for fun especially not in public it is a really nasty device i don't like actually wearing it uh if i do wear it it's for teaching or i have to stand up all day and i'm in a lot of pain already i will put this on but i then have to wear a huge jumper that i only wear for this it's a triple xl jumper and I wear a cardigan, a huge cardigan, and a very, very large scarf. And that just about hides that I'm wearing it. I'm really self-conscious about it. I'm self-conscious about wearing a stick, using a stick still. I really try and hide as much as I can. So what I'm about to do, which is to show my exoskeleton, my braces, and what I wear, for me, is like posing naked. This is something that a lot of people don't even know I, I, I use. A lot of my colleagues are not remotely aware of this. And I think sometimes many, I, I deliberately hide these kinds of things from because I don't want people to know. It's as simple as that. I don't like people to know how bad I am, I guess. So what I'm going to do is put some of these braces on and show really um, what they do and, and, and what an impact they have on me how hard they can be to hide.